Okay, guys, on the FS131R whippersnipper uh, steel, I was cutting today, and all of a sudden, this head stopped moving, and she was grinding inside pretty bad. Now, I did uh, hear something here a while ago, like a, like a grinding noise. Anyway... I greased this up inside here and all that kind of stuff and I thought okay that maybe maybe it was dry but it wasn't because I just did a service on this thing okay so what I found out was obviously there's a shaft inside this uh, this tube that runs to the end of that right so uh, I thought okay something's going on with that shaft so um, I pulled that head off and you could just undo this and I just put a rag in here so dirt wouldn't get in here undo that and it'll pull off the end of this shaft okay right now inside that shaft you'll find this shaft now this has got um, this goes all the way down and runs into that shaft okay uh, so long story short, uh, if you can see the end of that on how it's rounded, okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see that very good, but yeah, this is supposed to be square, but it's rounded, okay, now I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, I'll show you the other end. And you can see there how square that is, right? Okay, uh, where's a better picture? Uh, okay, square. And the other side, again. Now you see where it's square down here on the end? There, now you see how that's rounded off in there? Okay, so basically, this end was fine. So this end was fine, but it's in here where the issue was. Now, I took this shaft out um, to uh, see, to make sure that the gear inside there, I'm going to call it a gear, to see if it was rounded off, and it is not. And what I did was I took that shaft that was the good the good end of the shaft and I put it in there to make sure it fit okay and it was not rounded or nothing. So that's the issue. Obviously that that shaft that came with this that goes inside this tube was either a defect or something going on with it. Uh warranty is yeah and nada. So I gotta order that shaft from uh my dealer and see if I can get that shaft. So, there you go. It's a pretty simple fix. Uh, nothing you gotta take apart. I thought I had to take this handle off, but I don't. You just undo these two screws here, and, um, and it slides down, and then this tube will slide out of, of here. And then you don't have to take all this wiring apart. So, I'm gonna call the dealer and uh, find out if I can get the shaft and uh yeah that's pretty simple fix but anyway hope that helped okay guys on the uh fs uh 131r uh the shaft i took out um and, and i was going to order another one which i did for about 84 bucks but anyway i fooled my big guy at steel and he said that that shaft is lifetime warrantied so what i did was i um, talked to him about it and he was going to talk to the dealership and he says have them call you and we'll see what we can do about it and uh i know they cover the part itself but the labor no so basically what it is is this whole housing has to be replaced there's a rubber inside here, like a shock absorber. And what happens is those shock absorbers go 
and get loose and it, this shaft vibrates really bad and it loosens up that shaft inside that housing inside there and it wears the ends off so um there's a change up on this unit and uh so they're going to change that housing and easy fix so no big deal uh i always have a spare so we're good to go for work there you go